hi guys i hope you are doing well in this session i'm gonna instruct you how to model this these rings by using sub d in rhino i pick the circle then i draw a circle at the diameter of 3.5 then by using circle or even ellipse i pick the around curve then i adjust the end of first axis at this top part at 0.4 or 5 well done then i'm gonna sketch an ellipse at the bottom part again i want to consider uh, a smaller radius for the bottom one then in the sub d tools and by using create a sub d swap on rail i select the sweep shape then i create the surface or swap by this way i can here adjust the rail segments i set it to nine and then i adjust the shape segments i set it to six okay i move the object Following that, I'm gonna use these lines or curves for creating another ring. Sweep one rail, I start the command. Then I specify the sweep shapes. But in the second ring, I wanna do something different. I delete the bottom profile. Since I'm gonna create a sweep by only using one profile. Sweep one rail, I start the command. Then by this way, I create the ring. Check this out then i can select these two rings that i have created i hold down alt button and then make a copy or duplicate them following that i want to rotate these rings i specify the angle 180 degrees i for the rotation then by using i mean by activating these sub objects then selecting uh, several faces which are divided in the face of the rings and then by using bridge meshes or sub these i create a bridge between these two rings here even we can add the segments of the bridge add to the segments check this out we can adjust the straightness by this way as you can see i cancel the command and then again i select some other faces of these rings following that i create the bridge then i want to adjust the segment and also the straightness i set it to two or three and i adjust the straightness on zero so we can modify the center later i set it to 100 then the segments on one well done then at this time i want to choose some other faces for example this one and then this one for example then i create a bridge check this out in the continuation let me choose some other faces i rotate the camera in the perspective view for example these two i create a bridge check this out and then two more faces for creating the bridge like this well done but if you didn't want to, want to use sub objects here again in perspective view you can hold down the buttons of control and shift simultaneously check this out i select these faces while i hold down control and shift buttons then i create a bridge by this way so by this way we can move the process forward let me choose some other faces for creating the another bridge while i am holding down control and shift buttons and these two check this out 